<laughs> Hi guys, this will just be a short video uh, about electric vehicles, EVs. I just happen to have a 2022 Chevy Bolt 2LT uh, all electric car. And, and this I want you to listen to. Hey Google, how many fewer moving parts does an electric vehicle have? On the website driveelectric.org.nz, they say a fully electric car has fewer moving parts, so they come with less ongoing maintenance costs. In fact, there are about 20 moving parts in an electric engine compared to nearly 2,000 in an ICEV. Can you imagine that? Do you know what that's going to do? Do you realize how big a change this transition is to uh, all electric from internal combustion engines? I mean, I think of all the people that make, all the manufacturing companies, all the people that are employed by, that make parts that wear out on internal combustion engines. Well, as you just heard, if you've only got 20 moving parts in an EV, you don't have that many parts wearing out. So you don't have to replace that many parts. I mean, that's good for you as the buyer, the consumer of the vehicle, but for the people that have been making their living producing parts for 100 years and and parts places, you know, where you go in and buy your oil filters and stuff uh, and valves and stuff, whatever, you know, all the parts you need and spark plugs and all that kind of stuff. They don't, they're on the, they're on the cliff. Phew, you know what I mean? So anyway, this is just a short video just to, it prick your little thinker to to uh, evaluate how that could affect you and yours over the next 10 years as we transition to all electrics because it's not just the United States. It's the whole world, okay? Now, I've had my electric vehicle for approximately two months, not quite. Uh, do I Would I recommend one? Hell yeah. I mean, you know, it's a uh, it's been great for me. I mean, it's easy to charge. I mean, I can charge it on 110, takes overnight, uh, or I can charge it using the dryer connection, which takes about maybe eight hours, depending on how low the battery is. But they're building uh, quick chargers and stuff for you guys that travel long distances on a regular basis. And so that problem, it will be a, a non-issue probably in the next three years. But I just wanted to give you a heads up because I just happened to ask Google that question and I also checked it out uh, with a, a, a search on, on YouTube, or excuse me, on, uh, on Google. And yeah, that is just freaking awesome. 20 as opposed to approximately 2,000. So you could say approximately 20, approximately 2,000. You know, one-tenth would be 200 moving parts. One-hundredth, you know, you know one-hundredth of the moving parts, Jesus. But anyway, guys, just a quickie on electric vehicles kind of gets you thinking because at some point you'll probably have to get one. I'm not saying you'll have to. You can do anything you choose, but you will be, I don't know, there'll be some peer pressure. I don't know. You you do you. I do me. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Use the Amazon link. Drink plenty of water. Stretch walk. Enjoy your life. And at some point, uh, I would recommend getting you an electric vehicle uh, if the price is right for you. And, and there'll be used ones coming on the market. And so, you know, on and on we go. Adios, guys. Think about it. Bye.